A row has erupted right after the Madras Music Academy announced an prestigious award to musician TM Krishna. There's a lot of support pouring in for him, but meanwhile, there is also a lot of questions have been now raised as well. We can see somewhere this complete uh, divide as well in the music scene. But however, to speak with CNN News 18 right now here, I'm joined by the world renowned musicians, I would say rather here, uh, Ranjini and Gayatri, madam, both of them are here, ma'am. Thank you so much for speaking to CNN News 18. You have raised a couple of questions, firstly, through your social media platforms, and you have made a big decision of withdrawing the performance at Madras Music Academy. But a basic question, why this important decision at this point in time? Firstly, namaste to all CNN uh, News 18 viewers. Namaste. Um, we have withdrawn from this festival, which we have shared with our fans as well. The, the main three reasons are that uh, the musicians so selected for this honor to be the president of the conference is guilty of vilification of the entire Carnatic music community, um, hurting sentiments and values of the system, desecrating and disrespecting uh, revered icons of music like Tyagaraja, M.S. Subhalakshmi, glorifying a figure like EVR or Periyar, who has called for genocide of Brahmins. Can you believe it? Genocide is a criminal offense. So somebody who has called for genocide of Brahmins, who normalized use of wild profanity against uh, Brahmin women, and uh, who has normalized uh, um, profanity in social discourse. And so these are the reasons that we feel that uh, we cannot be part of a festival uh, or a conference which has a presiding uh, uh, a, pr a president who uh, allies himself with these problematic issues that we have just outlined. Uh, Ma'am, you see, but there is a strong argument right now it is coming and saying that whatever these questions have been raised, in fact, is also completely because of his social beliefs as well as his political views as well. Because we are seeing a lot of politics now erupting over uh, this complete narrative as well. So how do you view this actually? Is You have to ask the question whether having the political belief and uh, you know, as you said, reformist attitude, does this include vilification of a particular community? Does this include, uh, you know, painting one particular community as uh, dangerous to society and that if you see a snake and uh, a Brahmin, you hit the Brahmin first? So such words has been used by EVR. And when you glorify such a person, is that political ideology? You have to ask. Ma'am, my question next to you is, you see what the Madras Music Academy has now also responded to the couple of, uh, you know, the, the message that you had put out. They have called it completely unfair and, a, you know, a complete attention of, uh, in a way, trying to malign his image as well, just because you dislike him. So that's the kind of answer that has also been provided to you from the uh, chief of the Music Academy as well, because what they are strongly actually highlighting is that this complete award giving to him is completely based on the uh, you know the excellence of the music the contribution of him in the world of music we have not questioned the music academy's right to honor whoever they want we have uh, only withdrawn from the festival and candidly explained our reasons for doing so the uh, music academy need not ascribe any motives to our position and um, we have just used, exercised our choice not to be part of the festival, that is it. And uh, we have also candidly explained our reasons for, say, uh, for doing this. And uh, to ascribe motives to this is unfortunate. Uh, the Music Academy could have just chosen to disagree with us. Unfortunately, they have responded with anger and I feel that's very sad. Well, you're expressing that sadness as well with the kind of response that you have received it from the Music Academy. Uh, but ma'am, how do you even seriously view uh, that the kind of support is now been pouring in for the uh, TM Krishna as well, where you know, a lot of uh, musicians are now saying that he has in fact also given a voice to the lot of that who was, uh, you know, uh, uh, I would say rather suppressed as well. So he has tried teaching them. We have seen his participation as well in a couple of uh, programs that way. 
I'm sure you are following the social media, uh, people writing about it. There is a lot of support for our stand as well. There are there has been innumerable calls, uh, messages, and uh, on social media and other uh, forums as well, supporting our view on the matter, and uh, and completely you know uh, condemning Krishna's stand so far. So it has not been a you know, suddenly, because a person is going to be the president, therefore we are raising a voice. It's not like that. That is one of the reason only. But the the main reason is that he has glorified a person who has uh, called out uh, For genocide. uh, uh, genocidal uh, action against Brahmins. True, ma'am. So that's a serious allegation that you're also making it, ma'am. But how long will this actually battle go on? Is the next question that is coming in from a lot of your fans as well. This is just one concert, one festival. We need not magnify it and give it too much of importance. We had a concert today. We have a concert next week. Music wins always. And so we need not blow this out of proportion. Uh, life goes on and music will sustain us. Ma'am, so will the duo go on and decide wherever his presence will be there, you will not be performing in the future days? Would some, some sort of a decision would also be made on that? See, I don't want to talk about all these things right now because this, this issue is only about our withdrawal of, of our one performance. Concert, of one concert from one single festival. Uh, I think it is blowing the entire thing out of proportion and taking it into some nebulous future which I have not really given much thought to. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much for speaking to CNN News 18. There you see what the duo is in fact raising a lot of questions as well on the kind of decisions that have been made by the Music Academy. But however, it needs to be seen how is this going to pan out in the coming days.